He attracts a crowd. Good reef. Had the show from Chi. Put the ball on the floor and lays it up with the left hand. I like that from Duop Reef. Got it. Inside, outside, and there you just see playing bully ball down low and made it look easy. Reef left open for three. Knocks that one down. Looking again. This time at home at John Kane Arena against the Kings. Two on the shot clock for Duop Reef. They found a little rhythm and flow offensive. Well, we pay you two the big bucks. Oh, we get a lot of help. And our team the behind the scenes. Reef steps out, knocks down the deep one. Simple action. Well, that's... Now Reef, with the size advantage over Lee Arthur, backs all the way in and finishes off over the top. He handled that well. Two possession game now. One minute left. Reese for three. Got it. Big time knockdown. After he's had some struggles uh, on the weekend against the Jack Jumpers. Well, it goes in. It's the right move. It well, doesn't go right. in. It's a terrible move. This job, Reef shows us his move. But the thing is, is when you're down and form, because if you don't, and there's no ball pressure, that's the type of action you can get. Job, Reef again goes to work. And we'll go to the line for the extra. Well, he's been very aggressive. Location is that they wouldn't think that New Zealand are going to be finals contenders, but it's still a lot of basketball to play. Do you brief? And you look at this roster. Us the ball, hot potato. 22, this margin. Let's not forget they only had 59 in the entire game. Do you are brief? If you drop the needed one. Dax NBL, Brisbane and South East Melbourne. To come a little bit later on. I'm not conceding just yet. It's not my too early. Seed ever. Nice take. A nice start from Duop Reef. Well, there you go. I mean, throw, throw the ball. For both. See, uh, for Illawarra, I should say. Keanu Pinder into the game. Gunning Duop Reef, who's looking dangerous early against the shot clock, gets that mid range J to go. Controlling. Back to the basket. Just to get to that left hand. Just to skip to Reef. Big three from the corner. That's what he can do. He can step out. That's not what they do. What Reef sent Zimmerman back. That trip down the floor. Oh, he wants to go to work. Pulls up. Nice little soft touch too. They do have that go man hell. who's in pin. He's just so athletic and got a great little touch around there. He has that Westbrook type of energy. Mm. <laughs> well, I mean, we saw that in the game against Phoenix, didn't we? With all the turnovers as well. But yeah, that's. Hawks with four minutes remaining. Got a chance to put real distance on the Oh, green light. <laughs> four, six, four of six coming off the bench. Real good minutes. Real good pass. Come on, Tough night for Zimmerman. Four points, just two rebounds. That's a one-on-one -on -one play right there. Taking on Madjuk. Little look away if you don't mind. And Dual Brief does the hard work for him. Link of the Sam Variety. Looking at what to do with it. Step in. Dual Brief. Tough bucket. Made it work. Well, I love that start from the Hawks. Look at the big fella trying. He will find a way to at least have some impact on that rebound. Harry Froling with the up fake. Then the look away. And another jam. This is fun to watch. Well, these are the skills. So Dual Brief. As Pete pointed out in that first quarter, had a little trouble finishing those defensive possessions. And the ball exactly. through Reed at the rim. Seven offensive rebounds. Having a lot of autographs and and uh, whatever it is that he's died or whatever it is, magnificent <laughs> conditioning. That doesn't has not aged. Oh, Thomas looks like he could suit it up. I'm sure he could still go out there and shoot it with the best of them. He's a hell of a shooter. One of the greats from the three-point line. What Reith goes to from two. Wagstaff checking in for the Wildcats. Harvey stepping back on Travers. Doesn't get it to go. There's Duop Reith. Usually that's what the Wildcats do. Often that's what can get a superstar going. Gets a wide open look for three. Sam Froling needed to be a whole lot higher on that on-ball screen. Nice take from the key. 
Phoenix has blocked more shots this season in the while of Chul. Now Reith extending over the top of Caleb Agata. That'll be good for his confidence. Absolutely, after last week's game. We're using it how he is as a teammate. Only saw him for 11 games last year due to a serious Achilles injury. He looks fit. Reith drains the deep one. Well, Reith is a low screens and he thought that he was being held. To what Reith? Had the hard show from Hook Porty, so he put the ball on the floor and lays it up instead. And <laughs> I love it. I love the confidence when you see someone in these moments in sport. When you see players in these moments where they're just feeling it and they're seeing it, I don't care what sport. And some, Goulding taking shots. Some free burgers for basketball fans in New South Wales. The code word is calm. To what Reith? Turnaround, Jay, is good. He is a superstar. Of, of all the players through the third quarter, is that over and back? Dean Vickerman certainly thought so. Thought it was a foul. He got pushed, didn't he? To what Reith pops out for three. Tied ball game at 68. This is huge. Outstanding. have scored the last four. They go down low to Reith. Still searching for his first points in the game. Falling away on Cooks. Oh my goodness. Dan is going about his business this season, but definitely tonight. Former Perth Wildcat playing some big minutes in this one. Duot Reith off the glass. He's not going to keep a good man down for too long. It's four quarters. Of... Kings find themselves down six. Reith showing his skills off the dribble. That's beautiful. The shot bait got Sam crawling. Shot clock with three on it. Forced into a tough shot. Came up empty on that occasion. But they get it done. And Duop Reith continues to be excellent. Able to score over the top. Harvey shakes Sobey. Reith tracked to the crowd. Came back to him after a good first effort from Harrison. And he finishes it. Stay down! Stay down! To Harvey. Finds Sam Crawling, kicks outside for Reith. In the yeah, corner, Top cool. Reith knocks down the three. That is really Door and opening, no help defense. Game rejection. Reith stays with it though and makes it fit. Dangerous in this situation. Knocks his way to the bucket, can't complete it. Back the other way. Reith. Knocks it down, was bumped in the process, and a chance of a three-point play as Patterson helped you out if you're the Brisbane boards. A couple of missed free throws, which Nick Patterson's got to make those. And then Sobe with the one down the middle, misses one that nine times out of ten. Out of the 20 that Brisbane have come up with, Harvey dancing, shaking, baking. Oh, do a brief! Throws down a two. Huge possession here. It's Cleveland the top of the key. Here's an early look for Duop Reith. Slight mismatch here, guarded by Finn Delaney. He used his body well, but Duop Reith is a wrecking ball. Well, no doubt. I know what's going on. I will. Rattan Mays is the perfect fit for the Hawks, and he is going to have a huge say off the bench. For He's just too little. He is too little. You better double. You better do the best in the me. business. Speechless. There's no way I'm going to claim that. <laughs> I'm not that clever. Reith faces up on Delaney. Illawarra get it back to one the difference. McDowell White, hard take. Ogilvy went straight up, didn't give away the foul. Now Cleveland at the other end, looks to do the same. To what Reith follows up. The energy's lifted as we've seen this entire quarter. Responded. They've got a three-point lead. Big ten minutes here. Because again, they put themselves in a position to win a game. That's a really good offensive set from the Hawks to start. Not much you can do about it until you rotate and continue. Another offensive rebound for the Hawks. Duop Reith falling away. Got it. He's got himself now. At the last quarter, that would please Brian Gorson. 8 0. Reith makes it 11 0. And that's why he is so. Double comes for Reith. The big man spins baseline and stuffs it. We knew the knew double was coming. Knew the double was going to solely look at you. That is true. We'll have no soldiers left the way this thing's going. Reith and Wetzel bang bodies. Reith rolls it home. 
Dory could target. Our officials, Chris Reed, Nico Fernandez, Daniel Batty. They go down to Duop Reed because it worked so well last week. A couple of early looks for Duop, the big man, to do that. He can put the ball on the floor, he can get to wherever he wants. He's got a great jump shot, step back. He's so tough to guard. Oh, as is that man, Duop Reed. Ooh, talk about two big fellas who can score in a. Did well not to give away a foul. The Hawks spread the floor. Cleveland dumps it inside for Duop Reef. He finishes. We can see Angus Glover closing out a bit short for the rest of the campaign. Most recently played in the G League with Oklahoma City Blue. It's a good signing for the Hawks. Here's Reef. A little bit of fortune. 8 and 0 run. NBL 22 season. Nice wraparound pass, Tyler Harvey. Reef couldn't get it done, but long rebound falls back to him. How's that mobility to put the ball on the floor and pull up? Well, not only that little bit of a... Against Adelaide, he's out there here to close the first half. Reese going to work on Mark. Oh, my God. How do you stop that? We well, can't. You've got a big... Jessup. Guarded by Cooks, who did well to stay in front. To what Reith there to tip it back in. That's a big battle underneath there. Reith and Jarrell Mark. Duop Reith got Maker up in the air, put the ball on the floor and lays it up. That's so tough to guard because high energy basketball. Someone's going to come away with the brag. It doesn't matter because everyone can come away with some burgers thanks to Hungry Jacks. Just pass behind the back for Duop Reith who responds in kind. 20 points. That's all we want to see from the rivalry series. Another into double figures now. Reith tips it in. No one had a body on him. Okay, Jarrell Martin, he's got to find Duop. Well, it wasn't there. Angus Glover might have had his vision impaired because it was just not there. Sam Froling, that's a really nice play. And there he is again. Duop Reith just hanging around. That's the issue. Now Illawarra can settle into something meaningful. Duop Reith at the top of the key. Oh. What an afternoon he's having. Oh, my goodness. Duop Reith. Tyler Harvey, you mentioned the re-signing and for the next three years, such a dynamic first season in the NBL. Reith, though, responds with a mid-range J of his own. Duop Reith has shown that the three ball is part of his arsenal like that. Oh, this is what makes him a tough cover. You see Daniel Johnson, the Illawarra Hawks, but when you think of Ogilvy, Froling, Froling, Reith, and Gat, big, huge. Mm. They are the biggest team in the competition, and it's uh, an argument could be made that when you're looking at the balance, perhaps a little top-heavy in that department, but Brian Gorge and the master of figuring out people's roles because those defenders on the wings cannot leave those dangerous well, it's, it's just not the ball handler. And when you're watching it, when they ask the defense is so spread, you have a middle on-ball screen, there's no one to tag the roller. So if you're gonna if you're gonna help out on the penetration, two, the guy two, who's rolling two, usually two, you're gonna require some help. And with, when you got to stay at home and lock, he's gonna be huge for Adelaide this season. Is that why perhaps no one else signed him? Do you think, Liam? Reese for three. Yes. Well, two. it's always a bit of a combination of things. Good look here for Dusty Hannes, who really needs to get going. That's well short. And the transition bucket for Illawarra. They've scored the last seven in the game. Well, that's how they got in, on top, the Hawks. And you talk about it at halftime. You implore you, the, the importance on tidying something up. And then you don't see it in the first few possessions after the break. So he burns a quick one. Look, part of it is you're coming up against an elite defensive team here in the Illawarra Hawks. As Drew, he says, any time Brian Gorgon's at the helm, they're going to be disruptive. They're going to be all on the same page. A really good defensive set. And they... Couldn't get into any flow. They're getting pushed out of everything. And this will really annoy you even more is when your defensive transition for the Adelaide 36ers is, is that... Much in second gear, Chris Golding. You mentioned the only 11 minutes he played the other night. He got seven three-point attempts up in that time as Duop Reith finishes strong over the top of the... He's got his juices flying offensively early in this one. Agata, 10 points, four or five from the field. There's Jawop Reith showing us that he can ex driving and dishing out. Harvey saw it coming.
Comes up with the interception for Illawarra. Reith pulling up in transition. Big knockdown from the six foot eleven. Now Reith feeling pretty good. Was left open. Makes them pay. Jeez, he can stroke it. Rath and Mays takes nearly baseline. Kick out for Nah. Couldn't finish off, but there's Juop Reith. We just went. The ref thought maybe he just clipped his shooting arm a little. Hawks in possession out of the timeout. Reith got Lawala Chul up in the air, drives and finishes under heavy contact. Shot clock down to five for Duop Reith. Backs down on Peatling and falls away Ooh. and scores. Oh, that's tough. Fabian Munford, it was 3 of 14 from the field in that first game, but it looked a lot more comfortable in the second half as Duop Ruth Reith takes. Oh. Strungy off the dribble for the N1 opportunity, showing his versatility. But Smith Milner, who signed after being out of the league for a year, came in. He picked up some foul trouble, but they had the ability to play small. Hurts in a game like this when you've got the do-up breaths and stuff, but a, a team puts Sam Froling to the fire. Gets something going towards the rim. And the Phoenix take the lead back off that Garrett three, but only for a moment. Do up breath. Lands one from outside. Well, so the two off Reith get, does get stopped. He has a nice kick out opportunity.